Welcome back, everyone. Yes, it's been a while since we've done one of these pre-recorded videos, but time to get back in the swing of it. There's so much going on in the world right now, it's not as if there's a shortage of things to talk about. But before we go anywhere, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for daily content. Live streams, you know, the Kev Baker Show, Simulcast, you name it, it's going on here. And we also have memberships. So if you want to get a VIP members only stream every Sunday, click the join button on the channel. So then, let's get into it, shall we? Well, 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 you know, there seems to be something happening in 2020. The stories that are coming out about Loch Ness. Yes, of course, a place close to my heart. We all know that that's where I grew up, right on the banks of Loch Ness, Port Augustus. My mum today, she sent me the latest Loch Ness monster-related story after just yesterday on the show, we reported on this. The first Loch Ness monster sighting of 2020. Now, this all happened again via the webcams that have been used by many people now to actually submit images, footage, which they claim could be the Loch Ness Monster. So before we get to today's new news, and this is so bizarre, folks, it really, really is. Let's take a quick look at what happened with the first sighting of the year. While 2019 was a record-breaking year for Loch Ness Monster sightings, with a mind-boggling 18, and that's in the same year when results of a long-awaited DNA study were released and showed no unidentifiable creatures in Loch Ness, leading the scientists to speculate that Nessie is probably a giant eel. Now, I've explained on the show before, but for anyone who doesn't know, it's no surprise that eel DNA turned up in Loch Ness. When you go fishing in the rivers and the canal around Loch Ness, and I would demand in Loch Ness, there's a lot of eels in there, folks. So it's unsurprising. It's totally nothing to write home about. That when they sampled the water, they found eel DNA. Yeah, you found that because eels live in there. It doesn't mean the Loch Ness Monster's an eel. But it goes on to say, well, someone has spotted the first giant eel or Loch Ness Monster of 2020. And it's a name Nessie fans will recognise. This is a sign we're in for another record year. Or do the rules need to be changed? Now, this gentleman here, uh, Ian or Yoan O'Fagan, I I I've probably butchered his name there. He caught some really good footage last year. And it really did. It went global. It was filmed just south of Drumna Drocket on one of these webcams. And it says here on 18th of January 2020, long-time webcam watcher, uh, <laughs> Ian or Ewan O'Fanagan, O'Fagan, O'Fakian, uh, who knows? I apologise, dude. The Nessie guy once again caught something on video from the webcam at 15.58 hours. The video shows something rising from the water, and then a few seconds later, disappearing again. So, yep, he caught something. Um, I don't actually, we might have the video here. Red alert, red alert. The material we were about to play is copyright. But like I say, that's not the only Nessie-related story so far 2020. And the next one is truly bizarre. <laughs> truly out there. It definitely qualifies for what we on Freaky Friday would call the woo. And this comes from the Inverness Courier, the local paper up my way. I remember it well. And this, it blew me away when I seen this today. Now, it's not Loch Ness. However, something really, really weird has washed up on an Aberdeen shore. Check this out. Speculation that mystery skeleton washed up on beach during storm 
Kiara is the Loch Ness Monster. Yes, indeed. So there you have it, folks. There's the plesiosaur. You see, this is how you can see how that there has been put out as a potential for what stays or lurks beneath the surface of the loch. Only sometimes rearing its long neck. Now this carcass that is washed up, if we go back to the story, it says here, a gigantic skeleton washed up on an Aberdeenshire beach during a storm has prompted online speculation over what it could be, including the suggestion it might be Nessie. Now you might be thinking, well how the hell can it be Nessie? You know, Loch Ness, it's, it's landlocked. You've got the River Ness at one end, going out to the Murray Firth, you've got Fort Augustus the other end, the Caledonian Canal. But don't be too quick to rule that out because of the underground um, cave systems that are around Scotland. There you go, folks. This comes from way back in 2011, going underground, the massive European network of Stone Age tunnels that weaves from Scotland to Turkey. So could it be that it maybe made its way out to near the North Sea? Is this the Nessie? Well, I hope not. But it says a photograph of the carcass was posted on social media in the wake of Storm Chiara, which brought strong wind gusts to the whole of the UK. Hundreds of people have joined in the debate about what the mystery object might be via the community group Ubar News. And listen, I, I want it in the put it in the comments what you think it is. You know, get it in there. Is it Nessie? Is it something else? Is it some creature unknown? So we keep going down. It says hundreds of people have joined the debate about what the mystery object might be via the community group Fubar News. And I think we got that. Suggestions included the skeleton of a whale, while other ideas included a saltwater crocodile and the vertebrae of a brontosaurus or diplodocus. Other contributors joining in the fun reckoned it was a rarely seen deep sea haggis or a Chinese New Year dragon. Various people suggested that it was Nessie. Now, I don't know if it's Nessie or not, but it's certainly mysterious. And whatever lurks beneath the surface of the loch, it's something really really out of this world strange. You have to understand the setting as well. You know, the Loch Ness Monster is almost like the crypto cherry on the paranormal cake because up there is supercharged. And also in Scotland, never ever forget that we've got something called the Kelpie. You ever heard of the Kelpies? Well, the Kelpies just happen to be a mythological, shape-shifting sea creature Sometimes comes in the shape of a horse, but it's a shapeshifter. And it's always associated near bodies of water. Could it be that the Loch Ness Monster is in fact some kind of shapeshifting Kelpie? Take a look at the Kelpies quickly and then I'll let you get back to it, folks. That's enough woo for one day, right? And don't forget, I'll be back tonight later on the Kev Baker Show. 10pm in the UK, 5pm on the East Coast, and that's 2pm on the West Coast. TFRlive.com, Truth Frequency Radio, the home of the Kev Baker Show, and simulcasting right here on KBS YouTube channel. So, the Kelpies, let's take a look at them. Before you say it, before you say it, I know, I know, it's Wikipedia. You can't trust that, Kev, it's full of nonsense. It is, and it can be, but page by page, case by case scenario, and I think it's pretty much got the Kelpies down at T. Is the Kelpie or the water Kelpie is a shape shifting water spirit inhabiting the lochs and the pools of Scotland. It's a Celtic legend and other cultures seem to have adopted it as well. It has usually been described as appearing as a black horse like creature, but it is able to adopt human form. Bam, bam, bam. Terrifying. Some accounts state that the Kelpie retains its hooves when appearing as a human, leading to its association with the Christian idea of Satan, as alluded to by Robert Burns in his 1786 poem, Address to the Devil. 
And there's a story from up my way, ladies and gentlemen, Fort Augustus, right on the mouth of Loch Ness, where way back in the day, there was a dance on in the village hall. And all the young ladies in the village were there, and all the young men were there. It was uh, very prim and proper, you know, back in the day. Men at one side, women at the other. Men would go and ask the lady for a dance, and there was a stranger there. Yeah, a stranger had turned up that night, and all the girls were talking about him. They're all nudging each other. Look at that handsome devil over there. Kilt on, all done up to the nines. One young girl was lucky enough to get a dance with a stranger. He came up, asked her for a dance, and they really hit it off. All the local guys it pissed off. You know, who's this clown? Who does he think he is coming in here and stealing our women? It got near the end of the night and when the lights went on after the last dance, the gentleman just stared at the person he was dancing with and when she went to look at him with the light on, she noticed that beneath his kilt were hairy legs and cloven feet. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you to wonder is this the Loch Ness Monster? Or could it be that the Loch Ness Monster is a shapeshifter and may roam amongst us all? I'll see you later on the Kev Baker Show. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a share, and you'll get more woo, more updates on all of the big events that are happening as they're happening with all of the best guests and my friends, my fellow hosts, my team of analysis that we pull together. Yes, it makes it sound really important, really uh, kind of professional. It's far from it, but we keep it real. And we keep it KBS. Until next time, folks, I'm out of here. Keep your mind open. Keep looking for the woo, but not to the point where your brain turns to black goo.